Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Game Master and welcome to my channel. And another reason why Nintendo is being sometimes criticized uh, for having a weak press conference is that a lot of their announcements for the 3DS didn't happen until after their press conference. Listen, Nintendo, I understand you want people to understand that the Switch will not be another Wii U, it will not be another failure, so you're pushing that up front and you're pushing hard, but if you're still going to have some killer games for the 3DS, then do yourself a favor and give them some time. Most of these press conferences are an hour to an hour and a half. Yours was like 25 minutes. You could have snuck in some of these games somewhere and talked about them. Ugh. Anyways, I saw a few good games that definitely make me glad that I still kept my 3DS. The first one is a Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga remake. Now this one's an old Game Boy Advance game. It was released on the Wii U Virtual Console. It looks like they're keeping most of the core elements the same as far as the main game goes, and I'll explain what I mean by that. <clears throat> and if you haven't played that one, you definitely should. The Mario and Luigi games are hit and miss, and when they hit, they're really funny, really memorable games, and when they miss, oh god, do they suck. This is one of the ones that really hits. It's the first one. If you can get past a little bit crazy controls, it's really funny, it's really charming, and it's really good. And I can't uh, wait to see what they do with Bowser's and Pasties again like they did in the original Superstar Saga because the story in that one's just nuts. But they also have another game. It looks a little bit more like a strategy type game that involves a bunch of Goombas going out to say Bowser and perhaps seeing his side of the story because if you haven't played Superstar Saga you almost feel sorry for King Koopa you know normally you you know we're dumping him into lava pits this time you almost feel sorry for him because everything bad could happen to a person happens to him and just some really crazy stuff so Having um, a story that goes from his minion side and kind of shows his story a little bit more is also a good idea. So I can't really wait to play this one. It's really fun. And speaking about remakes, we kind of found out why Nintendo pulled a bunch of Metroid 2 remakes last year. That kind of caused a bit of a controversy when Nintendo decided to just pull a bunch of fan-made games based on Metroid 2 down and a lot of people were like you're not even doing anything with that IP anyways why are you getting so angry and sending lawyers out after people for basically remaking a game that's almost 20 years old and we found that out this morning too Nintendo's doing their own remake so obviously they do have the right to protect themselves by going out and closing down these other fan-made remakes and from the looks of things it looks pretty decent it has some really cool things on um, Samus has a lot of new guns a lot of new toys I noticed they kept her slimmer um, appearance from the other end so she's a lot more acrobatic than she has been in the past and the way she fights she even has some sort of uppercut she can do against enemies and I'm fine if they want to keep some of the combat from the other M. I need to do a review on the game it isn't just the lousy story that really killed that game for me but a bunch of other things that just all combined to making a really really crappy Metroid experience for the players so I hope Nintendo sees what mistakes were in that game and it just had nothing to do with story or voice acting there were other mistakes and avoids them because I want a game with good combat, but they need to avoid the pitfalls they did, and I might be reviewing that game soon. Anyways, this is Tommy the Game Master, thanking you for watching. I'll see you guys later.